Hey guys, JJ here, and with the Resident Evil 2 Remake right around the corner, I thought I would discuss an all new game system that not a lot of people seem to be talking about. Today I'll be taking a closer look at the all new fortifying system and the potential it has to offer for the remake. So with that being said, let's get right into it. Resident Evil 2 with Resident Evil 2 getting a remake, fans hope we would get some new features not included in the original game. Some examples would be gunpowder, defensive items, crimson head zombies, etc. Systems such as these add a new way to play without changing the game altogether. While fans got their wish with most of these features, one interesting game system nobody seen coming was the all new fortifying system. Now what is the fortifying system exactly? The fortifying system takes the place of enabling the security shutters in the original Resident Evil 2. For those of you unaware, in the original game, players would find the cord that could then be used to close the security shutters in either the L corridor or the basement stairway. The player would then have to decide which area to use the cord to enable the shutters to stop the hordes of zombies from coming through the windows. With the Resident Evil 2 remake, Capcom decided to take the system one step further by adding in an all new way of fortifying. Now, the player must uncover scraps of wood covered in yellow tape and then use these scraps to fortify windows throughout the RPD, thus adding a more in-depth layer of tension and strategy. As if it wasn't already difficult enough to manage the very limited inventory space, players must now properly plan out how they want to make space for these new items. Even after the windows have been fortified, the zombies can still break down these boards so the player will also have to be smart with when they use them. Adding this new level of gameplay to an existing feature is just one example on how to properly add to what is already in place. As I stated previously, it keeps the essence of the original idea while adding an all new way to play. For as great as the new fortifying system is, Resident Evil 2 relies heavily on story progression, so the use of this system will be very minimal to ensure the game is properly balanced. However, there's a lot of potential for the fortifying system in bonus modes that don't pertain to the main storyline. Capcom has already confirmed that we'll be seeing a return of classic modes such as the Forest Survivor and the Tofu Survivor. There is still one more bonus mode they have yet to announce. While some fans speculate we may see the return of the classic Extreme Battle mode featured in the Resident Evil 2 DualShock Edition, there is a possibility we may get something new altogether. This is where the fortifying system comes into place. A new mode could place the player in the RPD, surviving waves of the undead and BOWs. At the start of each wave, the player would have limited time to scavenge through the RPD and find fortifying items to board up the windows. As a new wave starts, enemies will begin entering the police station and these fortifications will help slow them down. Multiplayer could also be added to this mode, allowing players to work together and strategize who's in charge of finding weapons and ammunition and who is tasked with fortifications. This would play similar to the Resident Evil Outbreak series. Players could choose from officers such as Marvin, Elliot, Rita, and show the early hours of the outbreak and how these officers work together to try to save the Raccoon City Police Department before Leon and Claire make their way to the station. Another location that could be added would be Gun Shop Kendo. I think that would be fantastic to play as Robert Kendo and maybe his brother while they're trying to save the gun shop. It may mess with the lore a little bit, but if it's just a fun bonus mode, I think it'll be fine. Capcom has really impressed me with this remake. A lot of the features I wanted to see return and added are all here and more. This new fortifying system is just an example of that. There really is an endless amount of possibilities with this new system, but I'm curious to know your thoughts. Do you like that this system is being implemented into the remake? How would you like to see it used? What do you think of the fortify and survive bonus mode? What about a battle mode with the Kendo Brothers? Let us know your thoughts down in the comments and let's have a discussion about it. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and for everything on the Resident Evil 2 remake, make sure to subscribe and hit that bell. The Residents of Evil is a Patreon supported channel, so if you'd like to see your name here in the credits or online some other great perks, head over to patreon.com slash road network. I'll leave a link down in the description. As always, thank you guys so much for watching and we hope to see you back at the Residence of Evil.